of this. I want to bring in Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs. She is also running for governor of Arizona. Secretary of State Hobbs, we heard testimony from Arizona's Republican House Speaker, Rusty Bowers. He said he was asked by President, former President Trump and his attorney to call the state legislature back into session and to recall the electors. What was your, how did you see this? What was going on from your vantage point when all this was happening? And did you also receive pressure? Uh, I did not, and I, I don't think uh, a lot of Democratic officials did. It was more on the Republican side and the former president trying to leverage this idea of party loyalty over country, and by party loyalty, I mean loyalty to him. But uh, Speaker Bowers rightfully asserted in his testimony today and at the time that he didn't have the constitutional authority to do what was being asked. He was being asked to break the law, and um, he stood up to that and, and upheld his oath of office. While this was all going on, while you didn't get a, a phone call yourself from President Trump, uh, repeated phone calls, were you uh, aware of this fake electors um, gambit that the president and his team was going through? Well, I don't think we were aware at the time that it was an orchestrated scheme by the former president and his allies. Uh, but we did know that there were two separate slates of fake electors uh, that were submitted or tried to be submitted. Uh, and we were in constant communication with the National Archives to make sure that those weren't accepted. Uh, it obviously has come out since then that this was an orchestrated scheme. Uh, and um, we, we um, certainly it's part of the entire larger coordination of attacks on our democracy and future elections. I, I interviewed you before the votes were uh, were cast, and we talked about how complicated it was to hold an election and all the measures you were taking uh, before, during, how complicated it was during a pandemic to have an election. Yeah. So you were already writing some new parts of the playbook and thinking uh, about all kinds of possible things that might happen. Was a slate of fake electors anywhere on your list of things to think about? No, in the bingo card of what could have happened in 2020, that wasn't on there. But I mean, at the end of the day, I think the pandemic was the least of the challenges that we faced um, amidst this this widespread conspiracy theories and uh, suggestions of fraud that is absolutely without evidence. We ended up facing nine election challenges after the election, and we've continued to face lawsuits uh, that keep being thrown out of court. Uh, uh, challenging the elections or election laws that we have in place. All the efforts you made to prepare for an election during a pandemic, uh, all the things you put in place, did that actually make it easier to go through those nine? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there were claims being made that we changed the rules in the middle of the game, and that absolutely is not true. Everything we did was according to the law. We just expanded things that were already in place with early voting, with curbside voting, secure ballot drop boxes to make it easier for so people didn't have to choose between their freedom to vote and their health and safety. And 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 we did that. Arizonans showed up in historic numbers and they participated in a very secure election. We heard a lot about threats to lawmakers. You received some. Give us a sense of what the temperature was like in your life as a secretary of state before this election happened, just in terms of the the fear for your safety and the kind of political temperature, what it was like before and what it's like now after this has all happened. Well, we're talking about an ele election that took place nearly two years ago, and I certainly didn't think we would still be talking about it today. Uh, I certainly didn't think that myself or my family or people in my office uh, or election officials across the country or, or other elected officials who stood up for the law and the Constitution would still be facing these kind of threats and attacks. Um, but that's the world we live in today, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to keep standing up and doing my job, defending our elections, defending the voters of Arizona, and making sure that their will is upheld in our, in our next election. With our last 30 seconds, what advice would you give someone who said they wanted to go into public life, given this environment? Well, certainly make sure that you have a thick skin uh, and um, and, you know, we need people that are committed to upholding the laws and their oath of con their their oath of office. That is so critical. So people should step into the fray if they're willing to do that. All right. Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs. Thank you.